What is going on guys, Everything Doc here bringing you my second tutorial on uh, Cinema 4 decompositing. And now you can see that uh, we have our same scene that we created last time. And uh, it looks pretty good. We didn't have to go into After Effects or use anything else in, um, to create this scene. And that was pretty nice. But I think we can make it look a little bit better. Because uh, you can see the shadows just aren't really... They're just, just not really right. Maybe we can change the color of this. I mean, there's just so many more things we can do if we bring this in After Effects. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be actually using multipass rendering. And um, well, what multipass rendering is, is basically everything in the scene is different, or is separate. So um, the shadows are separate, the objects are separate, and uh, you'll see what I mean by that by the end of this tutorial. So just give everything a compositing tag, or every object that you have in the scene. So I have this the text, the sphere, and the cube. And... Um, just check enable object buffer one and uh, yeah so um, just go into your render settings hit multi pass check that little box and just choose object buffer ambient occlusion and shadow well not specular shadow and you can see this is really nice like we have all these sorts of these things we can do uh, reflection if we want we can adjust the reflection it's just we have so much control over everything if we do it this way so now I'm just going to make sure everything looks good I'm just gonna render it out to my desktop tutorial uh, PNG make sure alpha channel is checked and uh, that's basically transparency so um, yeah so there's no background there isn't we have we have this image in the background that won't be there and uh, we don't want that because, uh, well, we just don't. Okay, so now save it to our desktop. Now this is our multipass image. Just save it as mults or whatever you want. And uh, I'm gonna save it as PNG. And uh, yeah, this looks pretty good. Uh, I'm just gonna hit render. You can see um, if we go into here, there's it's showing our whole image. But now if we go into layer, single pass, it's showing us our single passes, obviously. So now we have our ambient occlusion pass here, and we have our shadow pass, we have our alpha, and we have our object buffer. And uh, the, you can see the object buffer is a, just a mat of, the, uh, of all the objects in the scene, and that's really helpful uh, when, we use, when we bring it into After Effects. So we got After Effects right here. Just drag everything right in, bring in your background, and so now let's start working with this in After Effects. So, we have just our regular background, and now this is boring, we need to add more. So, drag in your uh, um, objects, and you can see this is all just one, and uh, we don't want it like that, we don't like that, so we're going to fix it. And choose, ob bring in your object buffer. And then make, put it over your original objects. I don't really know what they're called. I, I, it just, it's your main pass, I guess. And uh, just change the track mat from none to luma mat. So now you can see it's only our objects. And anything outside of the white is not there. It just, it just gets cut off. So that's what we want. So now... We can bring in our shadow. And this doesn't look very good. We have to change it. Change the transfer mode to multiply. And then the shadows, of course, look terrible. So we bring the opacity down just a bit. And now we bring in our ambient occlusion. And of course, multiply. So now we can bring this down just a bit too. Uh, that looks good. Bring this up. And so now from here, it's basically however your scene, you're just trying to get it to match your scene as best as possible. So I'm going to color correction curves. For the, I'm on the shadow layer. And maybe crank up the blue. Maybe bring down green. Bring up green a little bit. We're just trying to match these shadows that are in the background. And then red. Bring it down. Maybe turn the opacity up just a bit. 
But uh, so now you can see we got our shadows. Everything's pretty nice. But now what if I want to change the our overall objects? Well, pretty cool. We can do that. So we can change them however we want now. Um, as you can see, we have a ton of control. If we turn off curves, it still looks pretty nice, but I think we could take it a step further. So uh, maybe brighten it up just a little bit. And even I can even change the colors, make them red or whatever. Now we put them all into one object buffer layer. And uh, if I wanted to, if I wanted to change each object's color and everything individually, what I would do is put them into separate layers when I'm in Cinema 4D. But uh, I think this looks pretty good. It uh, looks pretty pretty convincing. So obviously there's a, bunch, a lot more work that can be done with color correction and, uh, and other stuff. But for, well, but for now, this is looking pretty good for taking, what, 10 minutes just to create this scene. Uh, yeah, so everything J-Dog here. Uh, check out my uh, main channel and um, subscribe, like this video as always, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.